Could a dizzying series of images and word associations reveal racial preferences you never knew you had? Could these blurry images reveal much more about you than you ever wanted anyone else to know? I should warn you now, this isn't the same order. <laughs> these two psychologists design the test and say that's exactly what the experiment does. And they say you'll understand exactly how once you watch it closely. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, here it is. Let's see how Rhonda yeah, fares. Right, In the first right, half of the test, she's right, told to associate yeah. negative words and black faces with the left box, positive words and white faces with the right. Left, right, For right. For instance, left. the word war appears. She correctly links it to the left box, which says bad and has a black face. Then there's a black face. Once again, the left box. Left, right right mm -hmm. left right she just as easily links the word peace to the right box marked good with a white face right and when a white face flashes onto the screen Rhonda also matches that with the right box but let's see how she does when the information is reversed when the left box marked bad has a white face and the right box labeled good has a black face Left, left. Suddenly right, the test right, becomes much more right, difficult left, for Rhonda. About a third left, of the way through, right, she makes right. a mistake, linking the white face to the right box, even though that shows a black face. <laughs> I lost it. Okay. <laughs> Has Rhonda stumbled uh, because she unconsciously associates white with good? What would you imagine your score might indicate? Well, I could tell when I was taking it, I had so much of an easier time doing the white with good, much to my dismay, that I'm sure I'm showing a, a preference. I don't know how strong, and I'm kind of scared to find out, actually. <laughs> in, in fact, the test is showing a strong preference for whites. It's, it's upsetting, but it's, I'm, as I said before, I'm not surprised. And I think it's because we live in an extremely racist society where messages are given to us in many different ways. We may not be as impartial as we think we are. Absolutely. In fact, chances are we're not. Chances are we're not. Something like 79 or 80 percent of white Americans who take the test show a preference for white over black. Just 17 percent of whites show a preference for African Americans. And all of these results occurred even though we put this test to its toughest challenge, testing men and women with a dedicated commitment to racial equality. People like Jeff, who once marched with Martin Luther King Jr. All of those things. Um, tell me who I am as a person. And Rhonda, an attorney. I spent um, the last 10 to 15 years being a civil rights lawyer and, and trying to do some good in the world, but that doesn't make me immune from my own internal prejudices, and I think I just need to work on that.